trying Gordon Ramsay's frozen food, the chicken pot pie and lasagna. And yes, this is the finale. We reviewed the other six before this. Go check those videos out if you haven't already. And we're finally trying the last two. The lasagna, they basically make you microwave it. However, the chicken pot pie, you can also put in the oven. We're gonna microwave the lasagna and put the pot pie in the oven. Wait a minute. Or should I say wait 45 minutes? Look, I'm sorry, but I am not waiting that long, okay? I know for a fact that any of you guys out there making this pot pie is not putting that in the oven, okay? No one's waiting that long. So we're gonna microwave both of them. Six minutes in the microwave, this is what it looks like. And now I love lasagna, and this doesn't look too bad, but the top looks very unappealing. Let's examine the undercarriage, okay? We got a good portion of ricotta. For the first time in this series, I think I found something that actually looks appetizing. So yeah, let's dig right in. While this stuff looks totally unappetizing, it's actually pretty good. And while I burned basically the entire inside of my mouth on that flipping ball of death, it was pretty good. The noodles are solid. They're nice, soft, and firm. And then the ricotta cheese is nice and creamy. There's a good portion of it. The sauce though, not really a fan of. It's just dried up junk. The portion is kind of small for six bucks, but it tastes pretty decent. I give it like a 5.5. This is the seventh meal I've tried in total, and this is the best one yet. So 5.5 <laughs> is the best one that's kind of sad. Let's move into the finale, shall we? with the chicken pot pie. Pre-microwave. Six minutes later in the microwave, there's my pot pie. It doesn't really look like a pie anymore. It looks like a plateau. Wait, 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 I, I just discovered something. Gordon Ramsay pot pie ASMR. Listen to this. Don't tempt me with a good time. Anyway, let's get into this pitiful pie. Dane, what the, where? Where is everything? Okay, there is some filling down there definitely, but look how tall this pie is compared to the container. Like this pie is very wide, but there's like nothing even there. Shall we call it a pancake? We actually got a decent sized piece of chicken there in the end, but yeah, we got pretty much everything in here. Okay, honestly, the filling is pretty good. There's not too much complaints I have really. The shell is kind of a little bit too crispy for me like it's just not an enjoyable shell and the pot pie itself there's just not much there for six bucks so it's just kind of a bad deal yeah the chicken and the vegetables is pretty tender easy to chew and the broth it's nice and warm it kind of melts and molds everything together pretty decent honestly so i kind of like it i'm gonna give it like a 6.5 and remember, I cooked this in the microwave. I could have cooked in the oven, which probably would have made it better. So yeah, this one is the best one. Maybe there's still hope for Gordon Ramsay frozen meals after all. Thank you guys so much for watching my Gordon Ramsay frozen meals series. What'd you think about it? And what meal looked the most appetizing to you? And also write what your favorite meal was if, if you've tried any, because there actually are a couple decent ones. So a lot of them are kind of junk, but yeah, I mean, it was a pretty fun series overall. And you know, Gordon Ramsay, it's strange to see him getting the frozen food. So it was definitely interesting to check out. Would you guys like me to do any more frozen foods? I noticed that in the same section, they had like Guy Fieri meals, Andrew Zimmern meals, or would you guys like to see me do some cooking? Because I got some ideas. Make sure to drop a follow if you want to see any more of my cringe content. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.